I'm Wang Yu Yang. This is a joint work with Xiao Kang Wang, Tong Zhang, and Xiao Kang Yang. And this paper uh, is not only on the long tail distribution. We have investigated many other factors, but we will talk about the major parts. So the main motivation is that uh, we observe the long tail distribution in sample numbers for object classes, which means that, for example, on the ImageNet Object Detection Validation 1 dataset, for the class person, there are about 6,000 samples. However, for lions and hamsters, there are less than 20 samples. So if we sort the object classes according to their sample numbers, we will find a long tail here on the left figure. So the head corresponds to the person, which has a large number, and the tail corresponds to the line, which has a small number of images and samples. And we also find that to learn better features for datasets with long tail distribution, it is performs worse for datasets with uh, uniform distribution in the sample number. Uh, why does this happen? To learn a deep feature, if we have a long tail distribution, the, the, the learning model will focus more on the object classes with more samples. However, it fails to learn well for object classes with less samples. To handle such a problem, we propose to group object classes by their visual similarity. For example, we can group the 200 object classes into animals, instruments, balls, and we can learn a deep model for them separately. For example, we can learn a model for animal, and then learn another model for the instrument, and still another model for the balls. And such grouping of object classes can be done in a hierarchical way. And at the testing stage, we can also use such a hierarchical structure to save condition. For example, given the bounding box of a bird, we can first reject that it is not an instrument or a ball, but it is an animal. And by going through the hierarchical structure, we will find that it is a bird. Visualization of the deeply learned features also show that on the right hand side, if we learn the features specifically for groups of classes, we can have better feature representation, for example, for the rabbit on the ears and for the squirrel for its tails. Con and here are more examples. Quantitative results on the ImageNet and Pascal also show that if we can divide the object classes into groups for learning the deep features, we can improve the accuracy in terms of mean AP if we go further in on the hierarchical structure. For source code and for more details, welcome to our poster and our paper for discussion.